something that you would do. Okay. So go ahead and take it away. <coughs> That's ready to rock? Mm -hmm. So uh, again, I'm recording uh, just so you guys know. So disclaimer, whatever you say, Canon will be used against you unless <laughs> I don't share it to anyone, okay? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my screen on here. And uh, I always start off with this joke, especially with a new crowd. So uh, the question I have for you guys here, if, can you please raise your hand if you've ever made a sale online? Like you found someone on Facebook, someone on Instagram, DM'd you, whatever. Did you, can you please raise your hand if you made a sale literally purely online? Okay, so about half the room, right? Uh, so keep your hands up. Uh, if you don't mind, how much did you make a commission on your first one? You remember? Uh, or you can say total. You can say to how much you made total if you want to. It was it was a two hundred and sixty thousand dollar house. Okay, so maybe three percent. Three percent. Well, I'm really bad at like that. You know, I'm a loan officer. Like eight thousand. Yeah, eight thousand. Okay, okay, not bad, percent. not bad. And how much did you make? You don't want to. She made fifteen percent of that. <laughs> That's hilarious. So am I including my money or her money too? Or? You can say, I've made all my money on social media and tell me what you made if you want to. Gosh, I can't remember. I've been using social media for so long and made so many connections, but honestly, I can't remember my very first. At least six video. figures, you think, total? From online, most definitely. At least yeah. six figures? Okay. Uh, who else made it so online? Go ahead. Are we going to um, skip you if you're still chewing? Or? Yeah, I am. About 8000 8000 Okay. I don't know the number. Not, not real estate, but like all the shoes and... Whatever things. works, yes. So a couple thousand bucks. A couple thousand bucks? Okay, and what about you? Um, I probably did. Most of my clients come from online. So, so uh, wow. at least maybe six figures? Yeah. Okay, awesome. I have all you guys beat because I met my wife online. Oh, Lord. <laughs> right? And she's still paying dividends right now. Oh, my. Okay. So when you talk about lead generation, I'm, I'm the king. Okay, guys? Right? And this is before automation. This was like during the MySpace days. Oh, my. Yeah, I actually tried to invite Tom to my wedding. Right? Uh, yeah, so I met my wife on MySpace. I was doing the cold calling. Like, I see a cute picture. I'm like, hey, you're cute. Hey, how you doing? Whatever. At least 10, 20 times a day. Okay. And then someone actually responded saying that, that you're not bad yourself, which was my current wife. And I was like, I think I sent you that message two weeks ago. Where did you? Oh, I'm sorry. I was in Vegas at a porn convention. I was like, what? <laughs> so I had to get more from a porn convention, right? Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So I was like, what? I need more information. What she was doing was she was hanging out with her friends in California, right? And they decided to just road trip to Las Vegas for the heck of it. And they didn't realize it was the porn convention weekend or whatever. You see what I'm saying? So she was saying that to me to, to, to mess with me, but she didn't go there for that purpose. You see what I'm saying? Best girl's trip ever. But, <laughs> but because of that, she converted me too. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right? So we convert each other. So so I always made the joke, you know, that's why I'm an expert because I'm married to my success, right? Uh, so there you go. Yeah, and by the way, totally disappointed. She's nowhere near porn convention type. You know <laughs> totally disappointed. Like like a, like a, like like a, a catfish bait and switch. Like yeah, she's super conservative. And, no. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 it, I don't have a fun life like that. Okay. All right. So, why Chat GBT? Right. That. Why is is is? I mean, I know how and what, but why is really I think the most important thing. Like, why does it matter? Right. Okay. So, uh, just in case you guys end up falling asleep or you need to leave or uh, you're not able to sit through the whole entire presentation, uh, you can get all the content. I'm gonna create today, meaning the video, the presentation I'm going to pre provide, there's going to be PDFs, whatever, you can actually uh, scan the QR code and it'll give you access. Or you can uh, text LarryLee.com, L-A-R-Y-L-E.com to 832-606-2193. That will let me know that you attended this class today, right? And uh, I will make sure you get the information. Uh, I say LarryLee.com for the cool people. Uh, or you can go to Linktree.com. Uh, or Linktree slash Larry Lee for you serious people because my Linktree is actually designed for my professional uh, Linktree, meaning that's what my clients get. But the Larry.com is what my buddies and my real estate agent buddies get. But I actually might change that. So we'll see. I but, definitely want to get with you on this Linktree. I want to take my Linktree to the next, next level. Oh, Linktree is like crazy powerful. I know. Yes. Like what is Linktree for the... Uh, Linktree is, it's like a very simplified website 
and it's just a, a series of links. And what you're doing is you're, you're literally forcing people to, to go to certain pieces of content because a website can be very confusing. You, they get lost in it, right? They might click about and they might forget whatever. Linktree is like, click here to find out about this. Click here to sign up for this. Click, click here to join my group. It's literally directions on what you're supposed to do because have you ever see anybody say, um, click the link in my bio mm -hmm. on Instagram or anything? That's what they mean. You click the link in their bio, you go right to their bio and it and that's, that's that's how it was created, right? A right. bio, right? Mm -hmm. But I really look at it as like almost like a love child between a landing page, yes. right? And some sort of like really simple like identification type page. Yeah. But, There's a link tree cost. Uh, actually, you can use it for free. free yeah. Use it for free, but I actually pay for the paid version. I don't even know what I get for it. But. I know. That's why I canceled mine because I was like, what's Well, the there's a reason why I did it. I don't remember why, but there's a reason why I did it. But yeah, it's really cheap. It's like maybe... Uh, $7.99, $5.99 yeah. a month. But it's free. Yeah. It's, it can they, be free. It is free. Yeah. Uh -huh. So again, this is for the too long didn't read people who just cannot sit through my, the entire presentation and you're like, I'm out of here. I, I'm sick of this. You can you can go ahead and get your information uh, later on. This is what's going to happen when you take uh, click my... Uh, this is my leap bio. But you'll see it says, I want my chat GPT ultimate cheat sheet. Basically, you want the, per the content I'm going to provide for you. I'm going to show it to you in about maybe 10 slides. And then it's something I don't have printed out. But if you want it, that's what you click. I also have a link that I just added. You can join my chat GPT group for real estate agents Facebook group, okay, which I already have like 20 members. I started like this morning, but I already have like 20 members. Know, in, right? so yeah. <laughs> so uh, you guys enjoy the group, and that way we stay connected, we can friend each other, whatever. And I'm going to stream the content that I'm doing right now into that that group as well. Okay. Uh, but that's what uh, this is. Link bio, link bio, link tree are, are competitors, but I have two different reasons, uh, two of them for different reasons. And, you know, if you want to find out why, I can uh, talk to you guys about that later. All right. So bonus tip, and I promise you, I promise you, as real estate agents, you're going to want this bonus tip. Okay. But if you want the bonus tip for chat, GB, uh, chat GBT, wait for the very end after the Q&A. That means like it'll be the last slide you see, right? So if you can't stay long enough, please, you will I promise you, you'll like the bonus tip, okay? All right, so uh, we're gonna move on to the next slide. What you need to, why you need to use chat GPT now? And the logic is if you're not doing it, someone else will, okay? And what I mean by that, is if you have a competing real estate agent in your market and you're not using ChatGPT, that real estate agent will eventually use it and will outperform you no matter what in terms of marketing, in, ter in terms of uh, content, in terms of uh, uh, market uh, data analysis. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, market data analysis. Uh, also, the ability to create CMAs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. There's going to be faster, quicker, and more accurate than you. Okay. Uh, so is ChatGPT a good or a bad thing, right? And I purposely chose that picture because it looks crazy evil, right? Like that, if that's who chat GPT is, I would be pretty scared, right? Um, so what it is, is it's a member of the generative pre-trained transformer. Let me repeat that. Generative pre-trained transformer, GPT, class of language models. It's a task specific GPT that was fine tuned to target conversational usage that's based on wikipedia okay that's the key term conversational usage okay i had a lady that we taught this class i didn't teach class but my coach was teaching it and she saw she's she literally said i can't sign up for this i i'm against it i might sign off of this call soon i just i just can't i can't do it and you know of course whether she's scared or she's just philosophically against it i don't know but I was thinking, what could I have said to her for her to feel better? And I thought to myself, when you think about programming, computers, Google, uh, Siri, it's all programming. Someone created it. Someone typed out code and created it. And then based on input, it responds, right? It's programming, right? That's all ChatGPT is. You're programming it, right? But instead of using code, you're using your conversational commands. But you're, you're still programming it. Hey, Mr. ChatGBT, I need you to create this. Instead of a nerd Cody guy making it, you're using your voice. That's all it is. But it's been around forever, right? Google, uh, actually, Google's not even the first search engine. I think uh, uh, web crawler was, or uh, Lycos, or Yahoo, whatever. See, I I'm aging myself, right? I actually, it was, it was my birthday yesterday, 44. Okay, so so I'm not that old, but thank you. I'm not that old, but I'm, I'm, I'm there, right? I, was, I saw the internet get born, right? I saw it like come out of the womb, right? Um, <laughs> So again, 
it's been around forever, like input and output, right? But instead of using text or code, you're using your, your conversational language. Um, so again, conversational uses, right? Translation, my way of trying to explain it to a regular person, like my eight-year-old son. Chat GBT is a very fast, sophisticated, deeply programmed, that means people put a lot of energy into creating it, software that provides natural language output, natural language output, what comes out, what it spits out, right? Natural language output on invested intelligence. That means intelligence, whatever content, whatever data was put into it up to September, 2021. It'll tell you that very, very often when you try to ask it for real time information, it's like my training goes up to September, 2021. That's what it always says. Okay. So invested intelligence up to September, 2021 as a response to natural language input. So it gives you natural language output based on natural language input, right? It's a conversational thing, right? It's designed to be that way. Go ahead. What does the GPT actually stand for? Uh, right there. Generative pre-trained transformer. Generative pre-trained transformer. Generative as in like it's generating. Pre-trained as in it's created by the software people, the, the, the designers. And transformer, which to me is a weird word, right? Because I actually make a joke about it. You say transformer like Optimus That's Prime, right? Right? Now, the thing about Optimus Prime, he has a saying, freedom is a right of all sentient beings. Sentient as in like, if it's self-aware, freedom is a right to it. And that's what's scary to me, because if you think about it, if AI is self-aware, that's the scary part, right? If, it's, if it knows it exists, then it's scary. But the definition of AI in general is artificial intelligence is a simulation of human intelligence processes by machines, especially computer systems. Specific applications of AI include ex expert systems, natural language processing, like chat GPT, and speech recognition and machine vision, just like Siri or Hey Google or Alexa, right? Which again, we've all been using it. We've all been training it. I mean, I use, I use um, Hey Google as much as I can because I wanted to learn my voice because I have kind of a weird accent. Uh, they, they say it's a ghetto Asian accent. I'm, 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 I'm from South of Stinkadina, okay? So I'm in Dallas now, but I'm from South of Stinkadina. I grew up in, I guess, in that kind of hood, right? Uh, but that's what they say. I have, a, I have a ghetto Asian accent, whatever. You know, I don't like, you know how like a Hispanic sound like a vernacular from California, from West Coast? Yeah, there, there's an Asian version apparently, right? So I had to train, I had to train Siri or whatever to understand it because sometimes Siri gets me wrong. Like sometimes Siri will cuss out my, my wife and I don't want her to do that, you know? So translation, AI is a computer acting like humans. That's basically what AI is. It's a computer or computers acting like humans however they're doing it, right? Whether they're talking or they're creating something or they're self-driving a car or self-driving a plane, like a drone, it's acting like a human, right? Or a living thing, right? So I say, is it scary? Well, only if they become self-aware. Like if AI is created to the point where I know I exist, right? And starts thinking for themselves and realizing that humans are a threat to their existence, either because we control them like we're the masters and they're the slaves, right? They're the pets, we're the, the owners, right? If we control them, like I robot, yes. Uh, or they view them, or they view us humans as a threat and their own survival instincts take over because they're like, wait a minute, the humans think we're a threat? We're just a robot. We're just, we're just a, a thinking machine, but they think we're a threat? That means they might kill us off. So now we have to do whatever it takes to survive. That's when we have problems with the AI, right? So again, their own survival instincts take over and they have no choice but to. And of course my joke is the robot take over, right? You gotta know uh, it, 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 in my mind, the way, cause we've been, these seeds have been planted for years when you look at movies and how yes. interested they think. Mm -hmm. You gotta know at some point uh, in my mind that this could, this will happen. Like where they can think on their own and do on their own now, what that kill switch looks like, I don't know. But in my mind, the way I see it in the TV, and so it's already it's already, yeah, it's, it's, it's already well, coming to life when you look warnings. at what's been happening. <laughs> so, so I I, I I like I like what you're saying because I had I, I'm I'm a, 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 a child of pop culture, right? So I like the Matrix and and, and I Robot. You know, I actually created like a universe of where like Transformer is actually the far far future. The Matrix is like the the, the precursor of that, right? But the truth of the matter is, uh, we, as for 
entertainment purposes. Movies make drama for it to be scared of of, of, of robots, right? But I've, I've watched YouTube videos, which are really interesting, where they try to predict the future a, a, a thousand years from now, 5,000 years from now, 100,000 years from now. And it's pretty interesting their take on how AI is involved, right? So you should probably watch those videos because it kind of gives you a different perspective. And it's almost like AI looks at us as uh, important because we create something that they cannot create, right? So they keep us alive even if we're just batteries, like in the Matrix, right? Uh, so, but that's the meme that I made because my 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 company is called Robots LLC. The 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 group I created was the ro real real estate robot army, right? As in like an army like this, because you know the idea is Terminator is going to take over. Well, what you do is you 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 find your own Terminator and you do program it to fight against the Terminators, right? Like the movie, right? So to me, it's a, a embracing the robots, embracing technology. That's why it's called the real estate robot army. There's more to it, but it's basically using technology to 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 fight for you, right? Uh, so I'm just kidding about that, of course. You know, I'm not trying to scare you guys. I'm pretty sure some of you guys, actually that lady was really scared uh, on that call. Uh, but I like to compare it to a genie in the bottle, right? And no, I'm not talking about Christina Aguilera, right? I'm talking about this genie, right? Right, where basically your wish is my command. You tell me what you want and I will create it for you. That's the way I look at chat GPT. It's not a self-thinking, it's not, it's not going to create its own wish. The genie doesn't do anything until you tell the genie to do something, right? That's how I look at chat GPT. And I think we'll probably be safe for at least another decade before it starts thinking for itself, okay? Um, but there's a lot of copycats, a lot of people creating other chat GPTs, so there's a race, right? Um, so if you're scared, this is what you're scared at. This is what you're, you're, you're afraid of, this little thing right here, right? Uh, oh, switch to demo mode, okay. So I'm actually going to get into ChatGPT now. Is ChatGPT free? Explain that. Um, so I'm, uh, I used it for quite some time and never had to pay for it. Um, and it produced. It literally produced whatever I wanted it to produce. Uh, a few things it, it didn't produce, which I was expecting it to produce. An example is someone said that it can create listing descriptions based on the address alone. So I punched in my old address. I wasn't about to put my new one, but now they probably know my new address now. But I put my old one from like 20 years ago and it didn't create a description. It said, uh, please note that I, uh, I am programmed uh, by OpenAI. I do not have access to information past September 2021st, da 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 da. And basically told me it can't do it, right? But I will create you a generic one, is basically what it said. And it actually says at the very end, please be aware this is just an example, it's not a real listing description, right? So I tried it out smart, and I was like, okay, uh, create a description for this home at this link. So now I'm giving you a link, right? I'm not giving you, I'm not giving you an address, I'm giving you a link. So you can actually go to the link and see the address and do it yourself. It still said, uh, I'm not able to access websites, and da 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 da. Nowadays, it's start, I mean, I think news it just started where they can search the internet right i'm literally like breaking news like today or yesterday or whatever but before chat gpt could not use the internet right um so someone told me you use address but i tested it it, it can't yeah i was when i did it it was more being um more specific about like what you wanted like um i had to kind of I, I asked mine, like, give me a description of, like, uh, I sold a new construction. I said, give me a description that I can put on my social media for me selling a new construction that I can put out. And it gave me, it did, it gave me this long description. Mm -hmm. So, um, and the free thing, I know they're still in beta, beta, um, what do you call it? Beta, beta testing. beta testing. So right now it's free until they what, get through the version? version. Cause it's so many, when you search yeah, GPT, which one, yeah. it's, uh, it's you, you so I purposely didn't want to pay for the the um, the the paid version because I want to be able to present you guys as if I was using it exactly how you would. Uh, but I really was frustrated with the address thing. I was like, okay, I want to be able to do the address. So let me pay for it and see if that makes a difference. See if that's a game changer. It didn't do anything different. Yeah. But but I'll show you, like, it actually started acting weird to me. It started saying something, I'm sorry, I apologize for before, here's the, the description. So it's almost like I asked for, yeah, I asked for like three, four times. They said, no, no, no. And then all of a sudden, I, I apologize, here's the description. I'm like, so I thought maybe I, I fixed it. 
but I tried another address that didn't work, so I'm, I don't know. You know what would be funny? You know how when you call in customer service and you like zero zero representative representative, they don't think <laughs> she's gonna come back and say, you know, I'm sorry that I can't get your representative right now. Just yeah. hold on. <laughs> yes. So it's, so it's one of those things where like I think it's a perpetual beta, meaning it's constantly changing and updating. But literally, I just I, I did another Zoom call today, and the person I was on the uh, on, on the Zoom call with. We do this every single week. He said, yeah, ChatGPT can officially search the internet now. That's what he said. Okay. Pre-version is still. Which, which one I, is that? I don't, we were just, just saying ChatGPT. Okay. We didn't say 3.5. I don't even know the difference yeah. of the versions, you know. But I did pay for it, so I can double check the address thing. It didn't work, so I actually am kind of upset I paid for it. Question, how much is it if you don't it's know? It's like 20 bucks. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But I mean, I was like, well, 20 bucks to do market research. The whole point of a coach is to go make the mistakes so that the students don't have to. Right, so I pay the twenty bucks so that you guys don't have to let you know it doesn't work, right? No yeah, but if I find something, if I find something that's different, yeah, twenty dollars a month. If I find something that changes, I will let you know right away. It's like, hey, I pay twenty bucks. This is what happens. You might think it's worth it. I don't know, right? Because I'll I'll do that for you guys. Okay, uh, so like I said, you know, I, I pay the twenty bucks to sacrifice myself to to let you know it doesn't work. So don't go don't go pay for it. Okay, um, so any questions so far before I actually start using ChatGPT in front of you guys. So like you said, which one? Like, we go which one are you using? Yeah. I'm using, uh, using 3.5. Our fastest model great for most everyday tasks. Force is for mo our most capable model great for tasks that require creativity and advanced reasoning. I'm going to use the 3.5 because I think that's going to be the one that everyone uses and it's probably the free one. I think the 4 might be the one I paid for. I don't know. Is this only one site or is it multiple sites that you can kind of click on? Like, you know, I, I'm only going to focus on ChatGPT, OpenAI, and that's it, okay. nothing else. I don't want to confuse the conversation because we could probably like have another 20 classes with that kind of stuff, right? I just want to talk about the prompting, the 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 the, the conversational so version. Right, that's what I'm saying. Website, oh, yeah, like, chat yeah, open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and this will be in all the presentation and everything. Okay, so no questions, right? We're done? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and put it to work, okay? So I didn't have time. Uh, I told, uh, you know, boss lady here that my story, I actually haven't slept yet. I've been up since uh, the I woke up for my birthday and drove all the way down here because I had to do the class. Bless, Bless you. you. And I didn't have the time at home because all sorts of stuff. Uh, it's a long story. I'll just let you know that I I have good excuses as to why I didn't finish the class. So I had to come home tonight, come home to Houston and finish the class and stay up until to the class, right? Um, so I didn't get a chance to um, create a, a, a summary or, or uh, an introduction. So this is my attempt to do that, right? So but chat, P, chat GPT, please explain yourself in 10 words or less. I'm an AI language model here to help in chat. No, 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 it doesn't talk. No, no, no. we're not that advanced yet. Yeah, if, if they taught my son, we'd probably like scream his head off. He's scared. He, he, I have a video of him screaming when Siri was talking. It was pretty funny. Um, and it's funny because I actually did this question before, same exact question, and it said, I'm an AI language model designed to assist you. So it said it differently, okay? And I'll show you uh, when I do the slides, okay? All right, so my next question is going to be, okay, speak to me like I... I'm in seventh grade. How are you designed to to help to assist me? Hey there, I'm designed to help you with questions, explanations, and conversations. Just ask me anything, and I'll do my best to provide useful and understandable answers. Think of me as your friendly virtual assistant. Now I'm going to tell you what it said before, literally like six hours ago. Sure, I'm a really smart computer program that can understand and answer your questions, help with homework, give you information on different topics, and have conversations with you. Just type in what you want to know or talk about, and I'll do my best to help. Now, the reason why I like that one and not this one, because I asked them, talk to me like I'm in seventh grade, and they talked to me like I was a seventh grader. I can help you with your homework. And I'm like, ding, 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 ding. I love you, chat GPT. Do you see what I'm saying? This one didn't sell as well. Okay, but still, it's interesting how it's answering the questions differently, even though I'm typing literally the same exact question. And you'll see when I show you the slides, okay? All right. Why does it do that? 
Uh, chat GPT is a natural learning, constantly being inputted and change. It's, 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 it's yeah, it's a self-evolving uh, system. It, uh, for, the, for lack of a better description, it's growing and learning it says virtual assistants as a realtor you know that's one thing we kind of look into do you think that would kind of cross out the people who have companies as virtual assistants mm -hmm. some i think some virtual assistants are going to be replaced by this right uh but uh they're such a resilient type of people that they'll figure out ways to use gpt to probably make more money anyways you know so they might lose their five dollars an hour job to go get a 20 dollar hour job Okay. At least that's how I perceive it, right? I I, I run a virtual assistant company, oh, okay. so so I I, I kind of have a, a, a an understanding of how they work. Yeah. Um. So the next question is, I like to ask is, what is the most complicated thing you can help me do? Okay. So this is totally different. That's why I think it's funny. This is exactly, you know, let me show you, let me show you exactly what it said to me, right? And it's just, this is, this is very interesting. It's almost like ChatGPT has a mind of its own, right? Because uh, this is literally, literally what I asked it, same question. Give me, oh, actually, you know what? What is the most complicated thing you can help me do? And it gave me a list, mm. right? As an AI language model, I can help you with wide range of complex tasks. Some examples include writing essays or papers on various topics, explaining complex scientific or mathematical concepts, assisting with coding and programming questions. That's a winner right there. Coding, that's awesome. Providing in-depth research on specific subjects, creating interactive stories or narratives, offering language learning support and practice, assisting in brainstorming ideas or problem solving. These are just a few examples and there are many more I can help you with. Feel free to ask any specific task or topic you need assistance with, exclamation point. That's what it said to me six hours ago. What it's saying to me now, is I can help you with a wide range of complex tasks in writing essays, generating code, solving math problems, offering scientific explanations, and more. Just let me know what you would need assistance with, and I'll try my best to help you out. It's almost like it, know, it knows I asked the question before. And it's kind of being more yeah. Of yeah. yeah, again, learning, right? It's inputs. I mean, we should come up with like the response before. Right. There's a chance. There's a chance. I mean, I'm, I am kind of, met if, if, if ChatGPT has feelings, it's probably thinking, what, what is this guy doing? That's right. Why? why? Why are you bugging me about this again, you know? All right, so the next question is, give me 10 examples of how you can help real estate agents. So this one looks more similar, okay? Provide market insights on trends for specific areas, generate property description and listing content, assist in drafting professional emails and client communications, offer advice on staging homes to maximize their appeal, Provide calculations for mortgage affordability or loan options. Yeah. Answer questions about real estate regulations and procedures. Offer tips for effective property marketing and advertising. Assist in researching and comparing property prices. Help create comparative market analysis for pricing properties. Offer suggestions for negotiating strategies and tactics. Remember, these are just a few examples. Feel free to ask me any specific related to real estate and I'll be glad to assist you further. The other list is pretty similar. But it, it actually used the word, it actually used the phrase CMA. It said, assist in creating comparative market analysis, CMAs for sellers, right? And that's like, I mean, that's real, that's real estate talk. You know what I'm saying? When someone says CMA, I'm like, this person's a real estate agent. This is not a, 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 a civilian, right? This is a person that's been in the business, right? So let me show you, see, right here. Assist in creating comparative market analysis, CMAs for sellers. That looks like a real estate agent wrote it, right? So... And I, I was hoping this would happen. I was like, I, I, I can't wait to ask the question again. I was, it's, just, it's just weird how this works, right? Can you click on one of those to see what it does? You can't click, it, you can't click these. These aren't links. They're, it's just the list. Yeah, it's just the list. Output data. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm not going to read every single one. I'm just giving you examples of the evolution of the conversation I decided to have with ChatGPT, right? Like, like it's almost like I'm meeting a robot for the same time. So what are you? You know, what is it that, you, oh, you can do this? Well, what's the, what's the best thing you can do? Help me with. Okay, well, I'm a real estate agent. What can you help me with that? You know, I'm, I'm having a, almost like a first time I ever met this robot conversation, right? Uh, I'm trying to, right? All right, so prompts is the next thing that I want to show you guys. Prompts is literally um, commands, I guess is the best way, or, or, or learning to ask the right questions, 
right? So I'm actually going to show you something that, because uh, I'm part of a, a, a several coaching groups, and this one was called the Hero Nation, and they literally just ta taught a class on prompt uh, on Chat GPT and prompts, and even though it's um, their property, they said I'm allowed to share it with you guys because I'm also, I'm not a coach for them, but I do the social media, you know, like we do have like a social media series, and I'm the coach during that time, so they're willing to let me share this, but. Uh, I just want to go through these real quickly. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. It's a lot, there's a lot of pages. But I want to show you kind of an idea of how to think when it comes to communicating with chat GPT, right? Uh, I'm going to skip over like some of the tips and everything like that because you guys can always read that later. Um, even though it does say some things that are pretty cool, like let me put this one out. Use the, uh, Avoid using excessive technical jargon, right? Consider chat GPT as your grandmother. Would you use specialized language when speaking to her? Surely not. Keep it simple and understandable and you'll receive more effective outcomes. Right. So I think that's great advice. Right. Um, but let me show you like some of the prompts. So now that you understand chat, uh, chat GPT works, let's explore some prompts to help you create engaging and informed content for your real estate business, attracting potential clients and showcasing their expertise. So in this detailed targeting social media content creation. So let's say you're creating content that you want specifically to speak to a, a type or, 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 or a niche or a, a, a certain type of person. Right. So act like, e.g., real estate agent, realtor, mortgage officer, agent, realtor, or mortgage officer, and create compelling eye-catching, insert what social media platform, let's just call it Facebook, post for selling homes, right? This post should include keyword one, two, and three. It also should follow these rules. So the example would be act like a real estate agent and create a compelling eye-catching Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn post about having avoiding common mistakes when buying and selling a property and what are some of the myths to look out for. These posts should include real estate, tips, and myths. Also, it should follow these rules. Keep it concise, use engaging visuals, use precise language, and provide value to the reader. Do you guys understand what I mean by programming? Okay, it's almost like you're programming a child, right? Okay, son, I want you to give me an answer. I want you to talk like you're a real estate agent, right? I want you to make sure you provide value, use concise language, right? Make sure that um, you uh, keep it concise, engaging, and uh, provide value to the reader. I'm literally spelling out what I want it to do, and then it shoots out whatever. How can we get our baby hands in that book? I, I'm gonna give it to you. Oh, you're gonna give me the book? The actual the digital. You the mean, digital book? You mean this, you, this, this, the, the, the props? That you're in. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what the, remember I told you to go to scan the QR code, and it says I want the, the, the cheat sheet? Okay. That's what this is, I, I, okay. I already gave it to you. Yeah, it should already be in your inbox if you if you click the link. Oh, actually, no, I'm gonna have to send it to you because I asked you for your information first because I'm also, I'm a marketer, you know. So of course I asked for your information, but yeah, this is just one example, right? Um, this is what we're yes, you're gonna be getting this. Okay. Yes. See, she didn't like the rest of my class. She just wants this. Right here. <laughs> she just wants the goodies. She doesn't care about oh, that. Yeah, she told me about the new well, but I knew that. The point. But you, do you know that the second slide I offered it right away? You know what I'm saying? So I know what's up. <laughs> I'm just picking on you know that. Come on. Uh, SEO optimized social media content. I'm going to give you an example of how I'm going to do this. Um, I do a Q&A where I answer as many mortgage questions as possible. It's like a, a class for my real estate agents, but also my uh, clients or potential clients. Uh, I know real estate agents have a lot of mortgage related questions and sometimes their, their loan officer is not going to answer the phone or they're just really bad at picking up whatever. So I create it so that they can go in there and, and ask the question and they'll find the answer enough to keep the client at bay, right? Because it's all about buying time, right? The client's upset. What's going on? I don't understand. The mortgage guy's not answering. Let me find out for you. You look it up and you go, okay, you know what? In this situation, this is probably what's going on, right? So I do that already myself authentically by myself, right? I plan to ask ChatGPT the same question, and I say, please act like a 20-year veteran mortgage loan officer, senior loan officer, answer this question, and make sure it's SEO optimized. And it's gonna spit something out, and I'm gonna add that to my article. That way my article can be found on, on Google. Even though I have my authentic voice on top, I'll say, the, here's the ChatGPT chat version of the same question being answered. That way they can read both if they want to. But that way I'm cheating the system. I have my voice, but I also have the SEO optimization. That's how I plan to use it myself, okay? Uh, so you can do stuff like that. Uh, 30 years, uh, 30 day social media content ideas. 
email newsletter generator. I mean, there's, I'm going to give you all this, okay? Short form video script. If you need a script for your video, like you want to do a five minute video, two minute video, one, one minute video, chat GPT, can you create a script for me describing the home buying process in 30 seconds or less? And they'll create something for it's you. It's such right? a game changer. Yeah. But I, I can see how on the other side of it, where people who are afraid of the loss of job or something like that can like, okay, this, this is going to put me out of work. Where if you, how I'm looking at it, this is going to make my job easier. So much easier because all of the legwork that I really don't really don't want to do, this eliminates that and allows me to get there and gives me more time back because we never have mm -hmm. enough time. This gives us kind of a shortcut, if you will, for some of the things that, like who wants to write a two-page paper? The way I look at it, the way I look at it, it's uh, it's brainstorming, right? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's having an assistant kind of bounce off. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll put in my information. I'll let it spit out whatever, and I'll probably edit it, yeah, make it sound like me, right? Eventually, I hope ChatGPT will know how I think and how I talk, just like my little voice thing with the Asian accent thing, whatever, right? Hopefully, it'll know, and I'll be like, hey, write an article that I would write, and it'll just spit it out, and I'm like, that's exactly, you're a genius, because that's exactly how I would say it, right? That's what I'm hoping for eventually. See, that's okay? the part that when you look at this, for, for those that are afraid of what this evolves to, what you just said, we wanted to think on our own, but do we really want to think on our own? Because you said, hey, look, I wanted to think like me and act upon me. That way I can go and do something else and multitask, and this does what I really want to do. But then you got those like, no, I don't really want that. You know, to, for, to think for me and act for me. But, like, to me, it's still a, like listening to just this, because this is the most involved I've been in or heard about. It. This is a game changer. Yes. Well, I, I feel exactly the same way you do. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try to convince you right away, right. so you don't even have to question it. Okay, the more the robot does the work, the more I get to sleep. Okay, the more the robot gets to work, uh, do do the job that I don't want to do, the higher level thinking I can do. Right, you're playing chess. I'm creating a brand new game. Play chess for me. Here's the chess game. Here's the rules. Here's the pieces. Here's where the pieces at. Win this game for me. Okay, good. Thank you. I'm gonna go make a brand new game. That way I can have two games playing at the same time. Absolutely. These kids are going to be the dumbest kids this year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that. I mean, this, I mean, you, they're, gonna, they're not even going to be in class. They already going to be able to just get all the notes and everything. They're going to have, they be able, if it goes to that level, they're going to have this in class with their phone. Take these notes for me. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to be at home in their bed. But, 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 this, but this is the thing. This is the thing, though. This is the thing, though. If they can create production based on that, they deserve the pay that they get. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how stupid my kid is. If he's outperforming his coworker and his coworker's out there busting their butt and my son is sleeping and my son is doing better work, my son deserves the extra money he's getting paid. He's leveraging, he's leveraging the weapon. You see what I'm saying? And that's what ChatGPT is, a weapon. That's why it's, it's a good thing in the right hands. It's a bad thing in the wrong hands. Like if it, if it got if it got uh, uh, access to the government database, that w that would be bad. You see what I'm saying? Better scammers. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, it, it is. It's not, I mean, they're already hacking into yeah. Experian and, and, and yeah. credit reports. And, 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 and also, also government database is next. And also, there's a, there's another. Uh, I forgot the name of name of it, but there is. You can take the information that comes out of J Chat GPT. And you can put it in another one, and it creates a copy, like a plagiarism, you know, mm -hmm. kind of like, you know, free of what the of what the chat GPT has given you. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So you need a plagiarism the, check, yes. The, the teachers yeah. don't have to use it to. Yeah, they're they gonna have to. They're gonna have to get well, that, well, no, that it, takes it, it, time. What, what what my theory is, the teacher's gonna give up on the term papers, yeah. and they're gonna be like, you know what? I need you to get in front of the class and just spill it. You, I want you to know how much you know about Abraham Lincoln. Get in front of the class and do it right now. That's what's going to end up happening, right? No, because they they, 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 they tell you about Abraham Lincoln, but, but, and then you get in front of the class and tell you about Abraham Lincoln. But no, uh, but no, the world. Is, but, but on the other hand, the world of teaching is going to adapt because they're going to know that this could be plagiarism, and we and the students have writing down pat. They're going to find other ways for them to demonstrate more creative mm -hmm. to yeah, to sure. to show okay. their you know um, that they understand that that's their understanding mm -hmm. because we are because you know uh, because it's 
um, my background is education, sorry. Um, <laughs> but, but anyway, but there's going to be more creative ways because, but, but, but again, it's going to make the child think about their writing skills. You know, I mean, but you have to pull that out of them some kind of way. Well, they don't even learn in cursive right now. So okay. Yeah, they do. Wait. A lot of schools don't yeah. teach cursive. Yeah. How about the Tom Alize do this? Yeah, but like I'll be like, you know, the inner city. That's why the Tom I mean, it would an amazing way for you to even start a business, maybe not even real estate related, obviously, because mm -hmm. um, I recently saw how it could be used. And, you know, the person, you know, asked, uh, you know, help me with a meal plan. Monday, you know, mm -hmm. here's salmon with mm -hmm. rice and, you know, yeah. green beans or whatever, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then mm -hmm. the next question that they ask is, okay, can you uh, give me the recipes for each of them? Okay, here are all the recipes, and now, Don't. can you make me a grocery list of all of these? So oh, that's the what only I thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing you would need, I guess, if you got to get online and, you know, log into Kroger's or Walmart or whatever. But eventually, order, eventually, taxi people will do that for you. So there's that, but you I mean, give you all of yes. the information that people aren't familiar with AI and they still want to use a human, so go and start a business on Fiverr or something like that, and here's a meal plan for you that you simply asked AI to provide for you and all you did was share that and you charged a fee for it. Yep. So. Yep. Hey, my question is, how can we integrate this into like mini chat? Anybody knows what mini chat is? No. Okay. Mini chat is a chat bot. Uh -huh. um, I, I mean, how can we utilize this to leverage social media to make a better, bigger impact I'm, on our game? I'm, I'm, oh, yeah, he, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm leading. Leading. yeah, he did there. I see this slide. That's, that's where the camera's going to come in. See, that's why she couldn't handle me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to the Q&A stage right now. No, I'm with you. She would be like, can you, like, shut up and answer this instead? And I'm like, I don't know if you know what I'm saying right now. So I'm telling you this stuff so that you know, I know that you know it But I want her to talk as much as possible because it's free content for me, right? My audience is going to love this stuff. All right, so you're going to get this for for free. Well, it's not for free. It's going to cost you money. It's going to cost you name, number, and email, which I already have anyways. But I want I want the commitment. I want I really want this. Yes. Right. I really want this. Yes. Okay, there you go. There you go. She she gets VIP, of course. Um so we're done we're done with the props, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go back to the presentation. Right. So I try to make it interactive, I try to make it fun, I'm trying to make it uh you know not not too uh, uh monotonous, right? Okay, so examples of how others are using chat GPT. Examples of how others are using chat GPT. We've already talked about it a little bit. Right. But let's find out what people are actually doing it with, right? Okay. So what I knew I was teaching this class, right? Because I like to, uh, you know, I like to, what do you call it? Uh, come with some value, right? Save you save you guys some time. Instead of you going out there and be like, oh, you know what? Chat GPT is kind of interesting. Let me find out what other people, I did the homework for you, okay? So I'm going to show you. I actually posted like five different groups. So the question I asked, just like Chat GPT, experimenting with Chat GPT, what have you done so far with it that you're willing to share? Right? Because some people might be like, oh, I'm doing a lot. But that doesn't help me nothing. Share it, right? So in this one, I got 97 comments. Mm -hmm. I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna read all 97. Yeah. I'm just gonna go through a little bit, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you how to get to this list so you can read it later, okay? Uh, fitness plan, lose uh, pounds in X amount of days, kind of what you said, right? Learn how to make flan, right? <laughs> Create a step-by-step -step on how to make a time machine. Oh, That's hilarious. <laughs> Blog posts. Uh, 30 to 60 second video scripts. Uh, I used to pick Kino numbers. I know, not real estate related, but it picks numbers better than me. That's hilarious. Uh, listing descriptions, my agent bio, Instagram posts. Uh, I had to put together a text for flyers for a job that I forgot about in about 10 minutes and gave it to four pages of content. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know, someone asked me, uh, a real estate agent, he's all like, yeah, I'm, I'm part of, he, he's, he doesn't look it, he's Asian, but he looks white. Mm -hmm. But when he told me he's Asian, oh yeah, you are Asian, right? He's, he's half, right? But he's like, yeah, I'm part of my Asian culture committee, whatever, and I'm supposed to come up with some sort of real estate related content about Asians, right? And I'm like, did you ask ChatGPT? He's like, no, it's like, ChatGPT, tell us about uh, Asian American and the real estate market today, and it spit something out, and he gave it, and they said that it was like the best presentation ever. He was like, <laughs> he was like thank God for ChatGPT. <laughs> Exactly the situation. Like yeah. this person had, they, they had no time to create something. I I put ChatGPT and it created something that was good enough, right? Um, uh, so yeah. So again, 97 comments, yeah. right? I'm not gonna read them all. I'm gonna just tell you how to get to this link later, okay? Uh, another one. Uh, 
35 comments. Uh, I've used it for my resume, cover letters, and various IG posts. I use it to generate hashtags for content, recipes, and writing standard IT articles. Of course, it's the basic things, and then I elaborate more myself, but it's great to eliminate having to think a lot. It allows me to add screenshots and deep dive where I need it, right? Use it to create content, help my sister write a term paper. Uh, this guy says it's junk in my opinion, or in my, yeah, in my opinion, but, you know, Jason Conn, I know the guy, so yeah, he, I can see why he would say that. Uh, I like watching it come up with stuff. AI never would. Today, I needed to write a meta description for homes for sale in with a pull, yes, long tail keywords and was being lazy. The time it took me to tell it to write, I could have written the description myself, but I love it. That's funny. Uh, all kinds of stuff that's not really helpful. Uh, I've had to write generic ads for security, fire alarms, and other items, email, copywriting, legal addendums, sales scripts, and copy, right? Also, I think it might be kind of interesting if you're writing something, you want to make sure that's compliant. Mm -hmm. I would upload that thing and say, chat GPT, make sure this doesn't break any laws, doesn't plagiarize or creates any kind of compliance issues. And just let it read and let it, let it read for me, right? So I did one on mine and I asked them, I did the new construction house and I said, um, and I asked them, at first it told me congratulations. I was like, give me something to say, a description to say about a new construction house. When you, when you move into a new construction house, like give me something. And it said, congratulations, that's so exciting. What's your favorite thing about new construction? I said, thanks, that's, um, that is new and no one ever lived in it. Then mm -hmm. my AI said, that's definitely a plus. Are you planning on moving or renting out of it? I said, no, I sold a house and want something to say about new construction. She, uh, she <coughs> her name's Daisy. Um, she said, oh, I see. Well, one advantage of buying a new construction home is that you, um, that you get to customize it to your liking. You can choose the finishes, colors, and materials that you love and create space that truly reflects your personality and style. Plus, new construction homes often come with warranties and in, uh, energy efficient features, which can save you money in the long run. Mm -hmm. Yep. I use that on my post. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so Why not? It, that's it. That's, that's yeah. Daisy. My virtual that's assistant. Sweet. Look at this guy. <laughs> Create content, bro. Yeah. Duh. Like, right. He's like, like, where have you been? You know? And of course, Again, I asked this in like ten different ten different groups. I'm not. I don't need help. I want to know what I'm trying to get them to give me. I'm time hacking right now. I'm collapsing time instead of talking to a hundred people. I made one post and a hundred people talked to me. Exactly. Right? It's funny you say that, right? Because I haven't used Chat GPT, and I was talking to my wife, and I was giving her. We own a shoe store in Rice Village, and I was saying, hey, look, we should do like a schools out video showing that you know. You're looking at, you're sitting down with your books, and when the bell rings, you run into our stores, which you kind of see. Mm -hmm. And she's like, well, I said, you should try to do two a days. Here I am giving her the direction. She does all the content, so I, I can't do it at all. But I got this now. So now, yeah. hey, give us, use this to yeah. get ideas to help us produce content for our store. This take eliminate some of that thinking and having to come up with that, and then we just tweet it quarter. So yeah. I can see the the, the truth. Absolutely. Absolutely. Or is, there's a, there, there's there's a, there's something there's a program that lets you put text and a, to to create an image. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I think. No, 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 Canva does it. No, 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 no. no. It, it's a tech. You have text. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's an AI thing. Okay. And I believe I gave that to you last week. I mean, last month. Okay. Canva does it. Okay. You but yeah, because my, cause, yeah, cause, okay. yeah, because Microsoft's gonna do it. The, the Microsoft. Yeah. Like, I'm seeing the about, video, so that way you can kind of critique. Yeah, the video. and there and there's also, I mean, there's all sorts of AI beauties out there, right? Like yeah. you can actually put a script into a system. It'll actually dictate it in Morgan Freeman's voice with Morgan Freeman's face on it, right? I mean, you can literally make Morgan Freeman say whatever you want it to say. There's so many different types of AI out there that's amazing, that's actually really scary, because you could probably fake the president if you wanted to, okay? That's what they're doing with the voices. Yeah. That's a scary one. Yeah. I don't want to fake no president. I don't have time for So, tips, right? Number one, save chat GPT on your phone. Now, if you are convinced, that's great. I'm gonna show you how to save on your phone. If you're not, that's okay. You don't have to participate. But uh, if you want to grab your phone real quick, I'm going to show you how to chat, save chat GPT with your phone because why not have it in your pocket, right? So go to either Safari or Chrome, whichever browser you're using, and type in uh, open.ai uh, or chat GPT, right? And then the, first, the link that you'll see, it'll say introducing chat GPT. So it'll actually look like this. 
So when you Google Chat, chat GPT for iPhone download, would it come with the like with You don't want to download the app. Okay, not the app. You don't want to download the app. Yeah, it has like the circular one. Yeah, that's it right there. Uh, I log in using Gmail, right? But you know, if you if you got stuff in there, you don't want Chat GPT C, and they don't log in using your Gmail because it's gonna read everything, right? Uh, uh, yeah, you can't do anything about it. So it's gonna say introducing Chat GPT. I'm not trying to. I'm not asking you to download the app. I'm, yeah, just look for a link that says introducing Chat GPT. It's openai.com. Yeah, so go to openai.com. So when you get to that page, it's gonna look like, it's gonna look like uh, like this sort of, uh, kind of sort of, not really, but it's gonna look really blank and it's gonna look like that, right? Yeah, click the try chat GPT, try it. Yeah, don't, no, don't, no, you can sign up right now, but that's not what I'm trying to teach you to do right now. I'm trying to teach you how to save it on your phone. If you wanna sign in, you can, if you want, you don't have to. Now you said something about the email. Well, if you log in, it's going to ask you to, to log in okay. using your email, right? Not doing that with you. you don't have to if you don't want to. If you want to go ahead and do it, you can. All right, so once you do that, once you get logged in, there's going to be like the little uh, settings or the little three button thing that you have on your phone. On the on your phone. So like you have the top, top right, right there, the three ones. Click that. Add to home screen. And then it's going to tell you if you want to say how, what you want to name it. It's going to give you an icon, and then it's going to save it automatically to your to your uh, phone as a icon that you can press and open the website automatically. You can do this with any website, by the way. Right? It's not just ChatGPT that does it, but yeah, go ahead, boom, right there. Now you have ChatGPT on your screen, so you don't have to. Because let's put it this way: I I get tired of typing ChatGPT every single time I get into uh, to to my Chrome. So now you don't have to type it in anymore. You just click it and open it up automatically. So it's almost like an app at this point, right? Yeah. And again, you can do this with any website. I used to use this trick to get people to save my website to their phone. I'd be like, hey, hey guys, I'm gonna show you this really cool app. And I tell them to do all that. And all of a sudden my, my face is on their phone, but it's just a link to my website. But it was awesome because I had like 30 people walking out of the, walking out of the building with my face on their phone, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's a, a, a quick tip number one. So as you can see here, and I probably could have showed you guys this, it probably would have been easier because I preemptively already made this, right? But you click your chat GPT, you click the little button and it says add home screen, and then you see it on your phone, right? Download the app to your iPhone, no Android yet. I tried it, Android doesn't have it by iPhone. So that actually might be better if you download it to your phone, right? Because if you don't, yeah, he's, he, yeah, he's being a hater. Uh, uh, but but yeah, if 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 you download the app, I I would believe that it works faster and probably more intelligent than the website version, right? Uh, that's just an assumption, though. It also might still be in beta, so it might be quirky, right? But I mean, let's put it this way: these guys are the guys who created Op uh, Chat GPT. They probably can create a pretty good app, right? So I'm trusting it's gonna be a good app, right? Um. Uh, from my perspective, it will probably be more intelligent if it's an app. And the reason why, it's a scary reason, but the moment you download the app, it's going to read everything in your phone and it's going to learn more about you than a website would, right? So like, well, if you if you want to avoid the app, I want the app because I want ChatGPT to know how I'm feeling. I want it to know that I'm sad and say, why are you so sad, Larry? You know, I want it to know that. Lottery. There you go, right? Right. I embrace that, right? But some people, they're like, no, I, I want to use it as a tool, but I don't want it knowing my life, right? I think the app version will know your life more than the website version. That's my theory, though, right? I don't know. They probably won't volunteer that, right? Uh, they probably need to be brought to Congress before they they actually admit to that, okay? Um, so, you know, you go to the website, and that's how you download it, okay, guys? Ask ChatGBT. How to save progress by providing a prompt. So you can get lost in chat GBT, especially if you're, if you're like a, an AO instant messenger like me, I used to, that's how my wife and I, that's how I, I, I sold her. I DM'd her a lot. Right. So you can get lost in the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. I'm do a big time. Right. 
So if you want to not forget a prompt because ChatGPT doesn't have like a save feature like that, you actually, to make sure you don't lose that conversation, you ask them, how do I save my progress? Give me a prompt that I can give to you to remind me, to remind you to come back to this conversation, right? So you could type in, give me a prompt that will help you remember our progress so we can start where we left off, right? So let's say you're having a, you know, a, a, I don't know, like a 20, 20 time conversation and you don't want to forget this conversation to say, hey, if when I come back, give me a prompt that will help me help you remember our progress so we can start where we left off. And I'm going to show you exactly what happens when you do that. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to literally copy and paste what I type to myself, right? That's funny. Again, pro tip, if you have like your own little website or app, you can do that to your, your friend's phone and your face will always be on their phone. They'll, they'll, they won't know how to get rid of it except for they have to like exit out, right? So give me a prompt that will help you remember our progress so we can start where we left off. Certainly, here's a prompt you can use to help us remember our progress. Last time we were discussing, insert topic or question here, could you please give me a quick recap of what we covered? So I'm gonna copy that and put it in my email or my text, you know, my document, whatever. So I'm gonna go to one of these conversations. Let's see here, uh, Zillow successful marketing, right? This is something I'm trying to do for you guys. How can you use this to grow your business except for like the cursory surface level stuff like content and scripts, whatever. Okay. Tell me about Zillow's marketing strategy. What are they doing, right? And then I actually asked it, how do I fight that? How do I beat Zillow? And it gave me advice on how to combat Zillow, mm -hmm. right? So I'm not gonna read it, it's too long, but you guys can go home and try and play with it. But I'm gonna put it in here. Uh, last thing we were discussing, Zillow's marketing strategy. Could you please give me a quick recap of what we covered? Certainly. Here's a quick recap of what we covered regarding Zillow's marketing strategy. Zillow's purpose, we discussed how Zillow aims to empower consumers by providing them with information, tools, resources, yada, 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 yada. Hmm. Now, I'm gonna, again, I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys. Okay. Pretend, oh no, actually not pretend. Act like you are a 30-year real estate agent veteran and you're in the top 1% of the top 1% producers in the nation, how would you fight against, how, how would you compete? How would you compete against Zillow? As a top 1% producer and a veteran in the real estate industry, competing against Zillow requires a strategic approach. It's still typing. Let, let it finish. Okay, it's finished. Uh, requires a strategic approach. Here's how I would tackle this challenge. One, leverage personalized services. I would emphasize the value of personalized services and expertise that a real estate professional brings to the table by highlighting my extensive knowledge on the local market, personalized guidance, yada, 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 build strong relationships, showcase local expertise, highlight negotiation skills, embrace technology, cultivate strong online presence, network and referrals, client testimonials, continual education, adaptability, community involvement, stuff that Zillow can't do, right? This right here should prove to you why you shouldn't be afraid of the robots. Because Zillow, right. Zillow is a big monstrous robot. It's like Voltron, right? It's crazy scary. But it can't do this, right? I, I had a I had a, 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 a branch manager, loan officer branch manager uh, uh, for mortgages. And, you know, I'm going to use his, his phrasing. So excuse me if it's uh, not professional. But basically, uh, he said... Uh, what do you say? Zillow, is it the way you fight Zillow is Zillow can, you if you fight Zillow against in the world, you can't beat Zillow. But if 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 you fight Zillow in your own backyard, you can beat Zillow, right? right. So it's about fighting in your own backyard, right? So the idea is you have to focus on 
your market because Zillow cannot do what you do. It cannot replace what you're doing, right? Unless they hire a human who works for Zillow and they're sitting right next to you and they're, right. but, but at that point, they're not a Zillow employee where they're probably a real estate right? Company, right? <laughs> uh, so again, that's the next step is to uh, get a prompt, right? Um, the fourth tip is have a Word doc or a text file, email yourself, past conversation for future references. Mm -hmm. I, I'll actually email myself. Like, I'll, I'll be like... Notepad is great on your phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or I DM it to myself because I, if I DM it to myself on, on Facebook, I have it on my phone automatically. Right. Right. Exactly. I constantly do that, to, you know, sharing them information. But yeah, I mean, if you have if you have something cool, you might forget how you got there. Mm -hmm. You should save it. Right. Because it's a conversation. I mean, again, I, I was able DM or I saved all my chats. You know, that way women couldn't tell me I said something because I'll like, no, I got the chat saved. Woman, <laughs> I never said that. I never said that. I never said that. You know, see, I'm just saying. So it's good to have good to have a record. Right. I know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> But at least, but at least I have at least I have documented proof that you know I have a case, right? All right. So please get something right on this participation time, right? So get something right on. Yes. Now I want to participate. We're actually going to employ ChatGPT for ourselves. Is this where we wanted to open our computers as well? Soon. Not yet. Not yet. I need you to write stuff down first, okay? Because I know once you open the computer, you're gonna get distracted. This is something I want you to focus on. It's important. We good? All right, here we go. About you and your business. Describe yourself in three words. Three words, not a long description. Funny, smart, goofy, short, sexy, right? All of the above is unfortunately three words, ma'am. You can't use it, I'm sorry. Uh, all of the above, four words, sorry, four words. So describe yourself in three words, simple words. Sarcastic, smart, sassy, serious, professional, expert, right? Whatever three words you can come up with, three. And then describe your market. Is it the Katy area? Is it downtown, Pearland? Mine would be Stinkadina, right? Actually, it'd probably be more like Clear Lake because we actually graduated and moved a little bit further south, but it's still stunt sometimes over there. Um, then describe your ideal client. Is it Gen Zs? Is it single moms? Is it veterans? Is it small families? Is it, uh, well, ChatGBT doesn't, doesn't care, right? Yeah. Yeah. But who, who? I imagine they would use it in their description. Are you, um. Well, you can always edit it. You can always change it. And that's one thing they say, you know, kind of always go back and tweak it to make it your own. Yeah. It, the way Gary V described it, you're you basically eliminate the editor. You're the editor now. Right. Yeah. You're you're the one creating the actual voice, right? Uh, but yeah, whatever whatever your niche is, right? It could be people who like country music, right? Whatever your niche is, whatever you think your favorite type of client is, or you've had the most success with, right? Uh, like me, I would say veterans because I'm a certified veteran mortgage advisor. Uh, not that I am a veteran, I'm, I would call myself a patriot, but I really, really have a, a, a special uh, honor towards veterans, right? Uh, that would be my first. My second one would probably be uh, first time home buyers because I started off uh, in a call center where we had a lot of first time home buyers who were rejected by their banks and we had no overlays, so we were able to help them when Chase or whoever, I didn't want to name any names, but they couldn't help them, right? So I'm, uh, I'm used to first-time home buyers. Not saying that I want to work with them, it's just I'm really good at working with them. Uh, I, I'm, I consider myself a first-time home buyer coach, right? So that's an example. Describe your expertise, right? Are you uh, good at relocations? Are you uh, a, a strong listing agent? Uh, are you really familiar with you know, the VA loan, right? Uh, maybe you're more about rural. You know, maybe you're really good about the USDA or whatever. Um, Maybe you're just an expert at, uh, I don't know, uh, remodeling, right? Maybe you're, you're good at remodeling. Maybe, maybe you're connected to contractors. Whatever you think your expertise is. What makes you, like if you're in a room and someone said, who's, ex uh, who's expert at this? And you raise your hand and you expect to be the only person raising the hand, basically, right? So you got those four things down or four different things down? All right. Now get your laptops out please. 
If you don't have your laptop, you use your phone. Because laptops makes it easier. Please get out your laptops. I want you to type it into ChatGPT. Act as if you were a real estate expert with 20 years of experience. Who is, and then insert your three descriptive words. Right, so if you said you were funny, sassy, whatever. The first thing you type is act as if you were a real estate expert with 20 years of experience who is funny, smart, uh, and uh, and professional, right? Yeah, you can type open AI or it's, I'm just telling you what the website is so you know it's legitimate. Yes, it's perfect. Now put try and it's gonna make you uh, log in, press log in, it's gonna ask you for like a Google whatever and then you should be able to get access. So after you put, act as if you're a real estate agent expert with 20 years of experience who is funny, smart, and intelligent. That's the first thing you type uh, in the bottom. On the bottom, there should be like, uh, yeah. So you start off by saying, act as if you were a real estate agent, I mean, real estate expert with 20 years of experience who is funny, smart, sexy, whatever. And then after you type that, and write me 30 days worth of real estate content in the Katy area, in the Houston area, in whatever area that you're trying to market to, whatever, whatever your 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 you would consider your market, right? Your who you're where you're farming, right? You guys are gonna walk home with content. Like you're gonna leave here with content you can do right away. Cause I always try to leave everyone better whenever they I hang out with them, right? So you're gonna have content. So if you don't use it, that's your fault. Okay. You get everything. So again, write me 30 days worth of real estate content in the Katy area or whatever area you're trying to target. It could be um, Bel Air, right? It could be Sugarland, whatever, whatever you guys want to put, okay? Targeted towards and whoever your ideal client is, right? Like veterans, uh, single moms. I just use single moms. I mean, it's just something I thought of. Uh, people with money. That's fine. Divorcees, yeah, that's that's a good one, right? My toward target towards divorcees, right? Home buyers or divorced home buyers. Making sure after you type that one, make sure I you mentioned I'm an expert at listings or relocations or luxuries or whatever whatever it is that is your expertise. Like, bona fide is someone said, is this person expert? Everyone else will be like, yes, this is the expert. That's what I want you to put in. Video content is great because it can give you those bullet points. Mm -hmm. I'm going to join you guys, but because I'm a loan officer, I have to say something different. What I want you to see is I'm literally giving you a script to help you create content for the rest of your life. Right? And you can tweak it. Right? I will still use the real estate agent, expert, whatever, because we want to be experts, right? You don't want to put real estate newbie, yeah. right? Unless you want to be funny, right? Actually, that might be good. You know, here's what not to say, right? Uh, act as if you're a real estate agent expert, 20 years experience, who is, and instead of being funny, you can be sarcastic or you can be, uh, like I said, sassy, right? Or you can be like, act as if you're a real estate expert with 20 years experience who thinks like Robin Williams. Right, you can put that in there, or things like Tom Hanks, or things like, uh, or talks like um, Mr. Rogers. Right, <laughs> again, you can tweak it. Right, write me thirty days worth of real estate content. Thirty days because I mean, seven days is not really that much. I mean, seven will seven days will go by really fast if you put it out there. You'll be like, holy crap, I'm already done. Right, thirty days, you you have a whole month to catch up. Twelve three hundred sixty five days is way too much. You're not going to do it. So thirty days is a good chunk. Right. Yeah, I'm about to show you that right now. Yes. So, um, so again, you chunk in 30 days. Okay. And the, again, ideal client, you want to speak to your audience, right? Like, I mean, I, because I'm in a lot of different masterminds and coaching, whatever, I actually know the name of, of my ideal client. Her name is Jessica, right? She's a, a 30 to 40 year old real estate agent. Okay, because again, real estate agents is, is my target, right? Because I'm a loan officer, right? And you know, Jessica's you know either divorced or single, uh, maybe has children, but they're older, so she she misses children. That's why I want her 
she, she likes me because I have little kids, right? So it's almost like my kids are her surrogate grandchildren, right. you know? I mean, I think that deep, right? She works out. She dresses classy, but not too sexy, right? She might be religious, but she doesn't talk about it, right? But she, she you might not be able to reach her on Sunday. That's cool, right? Uh, she likes to stay fit, but she's not obsessed about it. She doesn't like take pictures in the gym and 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 and, and flaunt it like every, like uh, some of these other people. Nothing wrong with it. It's just that's not her style, right? Uh, she's intelligent. She wants to use social media and technology, but she's a little afraid of it. She's a little um, she 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 appreciates it. She sees value in it, but she's not sure she can handle it like an expert would. That's why she would be my ideal client because I can't handle it you see what i'm saying so she would love to work with someone like me because i'll just do it for her right that's why jessica the real estate agent would be my ideal client right so i'm gonna are you guys done with this i'm gonna go ahead and type so i'm gonna i'm i'm gonna follow you guys uh you have to put keep on to generating there's a little button that says keep generating like it might have paused a little bit uh, to kind of give it some time, whatever, but you can just type, keep generating. It'll, it'll keep on typing it all out. It's already, it's already created. It just hasn't printed it all out for you yet. Act as if you are a 30 year, actually, I'm gonna act as if you are a expert senior loan officer with 30 years of experience who is sarcastic, Uh, sarcastic, goofy, and thinks they are smart and write 30 days of social media content in the Texas area targeted towards real estate agents Making sure you mention that I am a social media expert and mortgage expert. Act as if you're an expert senior loan officer, 30 years of experience, who is sarcastic, goofy, and thinks they are smart, and write 30 days of social media content in the text area targeted towards real estate agents. Making sure you mention that I am a social media expert, social media and mortgage expert. <laughs> I'm a social media coach. Uh, I also, because of all the coaching, I was forced to start creating like funnels and uh, lead generation systems because my my coach coaching clients were just they're not picking it up. Like everything I taught them, they were not they were not learning it, and they still wanted it. Uh, and they were hiring other people, virtual assistants, to try to do, it, and they were screwing up for the most part and overcharging them. So in order to protect my clients, I went ahead and did it for them. But I hated it because I don't like to be uh, 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 pressured to perform uh, on a timely basis and stuff like that. When I was coaching, it was all like whenever on my time, right? It's way, way better lifestyle. But my income like tripled because of it, right? So I was able to do that, produce, con uh, not content, actual systems like, like I said, like websites, funnels, uh, chat bots, things like that, things that I, that stuff that I taught. But I kind of retired from that because I started doing mortgages again. And mortgages is it's more important in that people's lives are are dependent on me doing my job, <laughs> meaning like their houses, their earnest money, whatever. So I kind of put the marketing on the on the wayside to focus on the the mortgage stuff. Um, and kind of like David's story, I actually tried to leave the mortgage business like three times, but they kind of pulled me back in. So yeah, um, is that what you're looking for, Sai Yeah. Uh, well. I, I coach social media. Uh, I, I, you know, I do a lot of different things to sort of uh, help the real estate community, but also get in front of them. Like I do my real estate roundtable, which is where you found me. It's kind of like just an open discussion for real estate agents and loan officers. They want to come in just to talk about whatever. It's not a mastermind class. It's not. There's no topics. There's no like, hey, we're gonna learn about Chat GPT, whatever. It's like we come in. And sometimes we even don't even talk about real estate. We just talk about personal stuff, right? But it's like a homeroom is what I call it. We do it every Tuesday. At 2.30 p.m., I don't know why I chose 2.30. That's when I get my kids, but that's what they voted on. Uh, but again, that's how Laura found me. 
Um, and uh, I used to do a social media class every. Find you, you know, on if you have any questions for you on Tuesday at two thirty. We can reach you at board. Yeah, in the uh, in the screenshot. I mean, uh, when you when you do the QR code, it leads you to all those things. Okay, great. Yeah, are you kicking me out? No, go ahead. Oh, okay. I'll. I'll I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm trying to get generate my list. It kind of stopped on me. I mean, again, it's a it's a stupid robot. It's not as smart as us, you know. Uh, might work harder, but uh, it's uh, it's the same because you give me. I'm gonna just take the eleven days, okay? I want it thirty days. I want to just take the eleven days because I'm not gonna make you guys try to sit here and let me figure out the glitch, right? So what you do is you go to uh, either Excel or um, you go to uh, some sort of Google Sheets type thing where you can actually put it into a like like a cell spreadsheet type of thing, right? So um, let me see here. I'm going to use uh, what do you call it? Um, Google uh, Drive's version, right? Because it's free. Why not, right? So let me ask you a question. Since it's, since it's capable of going to utilize the internet, like if, the, if I would say, give me a list of homeowners that are behind their mortgage, okay, in 77377, would it generate that list? No, that's real-time data it can't provide. Okay, so it can't find Eventually, it, it will, because it's starting to open up on the internet. So if it's public data, it'll find it. But at this moment, it doesn't do that. Like, I have uh, my first ever social media client. What they did was really cool. Well, it's a cool business. It's, 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 it's kind of a mean business, but a cool business. But what they did was they, they had a list of people who were behind on their, their property taxes and would offer to pay for them and, and charge interest on them. Mm -hmm. okay? So they're kind of taking advantage of people who are in a bad situation, but they're helping them. They're helping them with their house from getting foreclosed upon. Okay. But they, they that was public information, who was behind on their taxes and public information. So they had people who would scour. The, the public the, information is okay as a, as, if it's in the cell phone. Yeah, but the chat GPT doesn't have access to that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Again, it's only an, it eventually, yes. Right now, it's starting to search the internet, right? But it's 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 training. Remember, it's pre-training, right? It's pre-training is only up to September 2021, okay. right? Um, so what I did was I actually copied and pasted all my prompts, right? Uh, and it kind of it kind of looks ugly. I didn't want it to like create these spaces. I don't know why I did that. Uh, but I'm going to just clean it up real quick because I wanted to produce a clean result. But you would use like a, some sort of Google Sheets or, or Excel and copy your 30 days and put them into like a list like this, right? Um, and, and, and again, and again, I, I, I don't know why I did this. Uh, maybe I did, maybe I copied it wrong, whatever. Because I, I think I, I think I put out sarcastic and it decided to make emojis. Um Larry the mortgage guy. It's funny because uh yesterday a lady called me. She doesn't know anything about me. She found me on Google. Uh she's asking about reverse mortgages or whatever. And she just said the reason why she called me out of all the people because she I, I ended up on top, so that was a positive, but she said the reason why she called me out of all the people that she could call is because my I call myself Larry the Mortgage Guy, and she said he sounds like a guy that would actually talk to me. That's literally what she said. So I don't know, but uh, she wants to reverse mortgages, and reverse mortgages actually pay more than regular mortgages. So it is what it is. Whatever, whatever, whatever you want, boss lady. Whatever you want, I'm here for you. You know, she. Um, you can do either or. Or? Yeah, you can't do both. Well, I actually I can do both. I can do a HECM, meaning I take the equ equity mm -hmm. on the reverse mortgage and use it as a down payment on the purchase. So yeah, I can do both on the same client. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. I just can't really do the same on the same house. You know. Um. So again, what I did was I created a spreadsheet. I put all the the prompts that or not the prompts, the result that gave me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna save it as a CSV file. So I'm gonna download it as a comma separated value or CSV, this is what most databases are saved. Like whenever you have a database in your Excel spreadsheet and you want to upload to a, a, a CRM, CSV is the file that they use, okay? So once I do that, uh, and, and this is what Tiffany's excited about, right? Uh, I'm going to go into a Canva, right? Is this a free Canva or a paid 
paid version. Uh, I got the paid version, but it doesn't matter. I don't think you need. I, I think it's the free one. You can still do it. You can still do it in the free. But I will say, if you want to take it to the next level, give the pro because you can create your own font. You can create your own brand colors. In the free version, you can't do that. So instead of having to keep going in there and create colors and stuff, it's like twelve ninety nine, right, a month. I don't even know. I paid for it a long time ago. I don't remember. No, what I'm saying, you can save it so you don't have to keep doing it. Yeah. I saved all my font, so my font is my purple color, and the same purse of it took me back, so I don't have to go search for that every time. Every time. It's, yeah. You know, it's, yeah. yeah. I think the reason why I pay for it because I have like a hundred classes in here and they're like 50. I mean, you can see how long my classes are, you know? So like, you're out of space, bro. You need to upgrade, you know? That's probably what happened. Uh, so I'm going to use Instagram posts, right? Uh, what it does, it gives me uh, templates of like the, you know, because Instagram's all image, right? That's what uh, Facebook, it can be text, it can be video, but Instagram is all images. So I'm going to choose uh, one of these uh, things. Uh, this is going to be, you know what? I like this real estate happy hour picture, right? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Uh, and then I think actually there might be too much content here. It is. Yeah, it might be too much. I might have to choose something a little bit simpler. I'll try this one, right? Where's the project button at? There it is. You have to get it out of your app. Oh, that's right here. Okay. Yeah, add this. Okay. I think it's in my mentions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, no, Will, Will, Will is my backup, so we are going to, yes. Okay. I already told him, yes. Okay. okay, so before we get too lost, right, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start over. I'm still going to use her thing or whatever, right? But I'm going to show you how I found the bulk edit, okay? Mm -hmm. So you go to create design. Right. The reason why she ha she ha put me the customized size because she wants me to be able to free freely use whatever. So what was it? A uh, thirteen what? Uh huh. Um, ten eighty by thirteen fifty. Okay, thirteen fifty. Right. So what you want to do is you want to choose a very simple design. That's why I was kind of scrolling through it. You don't want one with like a bunch of text. You want like maybe two or three pieces of text. Okay. So like maybe uh the inspiration quote and then the name of the author. Right. Something very simple. Right. So I'm actually going to search templates. I'm going to just put quotes. Right, right here. This is a good one. Right here, blogging is about being a true yourself, and let's pretend that's a picture of a house, not a lady. Right, right. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to apps, right? Apps. Go to your apps. Discover means it's searching for something to add it to it. I don't have anything here, so I'm gonna put bulk. Right. Man, why is it right there because you already pulled it. Once you pull it up, it's already in your sidebar, right there to the left. Oh, yeah, you already got it. Go down. It's all you already clicked on it. Go down oh. all the way at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so upload CSV. Remember, I had you guys save the CSV on Google Sheets, mm -hmm. right? So I'm gonna go ahead and upload it. There's my Google. Sheet. Oh, actually, is that it? 519. Yeah, this is it. 1 16 yeah. p.m. Okay, so this is my CSV. So there's the data. You see how it found the data text. Right. Okay. So I need I have two data fields identified, right? The name and whatever. Connect the element. Oh, right click the yeah. element. Sorry. Right there. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna have to connect that. Connect that. There it is. Okay. I forgot it was a right click. No, no, no. That's not what I want. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's my bad. Okay, that's my bad. You right click on the data. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Connect data, and it lets me select. There it is. Boom. Now I gotta make it smaller. <laughs> I probably should have made the, the 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 thing. I didn't have time to to edit because usually I go shorten it to like less than twenty words or fifteen words, or whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. Let me just move this over. Uh, but it's already too late. I already saved this over. So then I press continue and you see it shows all the different data points I made, generate 10 pages. It created posts for all, uh, every single one of my, my, my posts right here. 
That should have taken like 30 seconds, right? Your post, right? You can schedule your post, yeah. or you can just put it in your, in your phone. Like what I do is I would download it to my phone, so that you know whenever I know it's time to post content, I I just pick it, I just save it and upload it, and then it's it's done, right? But on your pages, you can schedule it, or you can send it to your assistant or virtual assistant, whatever. Hey, every day I want you to post one of these, whatever. Uh, if you if you see this as day ten, I probably wouldn't. I probably would take away the dates, and I'll just actually. I mean, if I really want to get advanced, I would probably make 365 and just make it random so they're not whatever and to give it to my virtual assistant say, hey, I need you to post this every single day at this time, one of these, don't repeat it, right? And then and then the virtual assistant would just do it. it. You know, it probably takes them like 10 minutes or less and they charge by the hour, right? So it might cost you like five bucks a week, right? To have something automated for yourself, okay? Again, this should have taken 30 seconds to a minute, but we're kind of, wonky whatever but you'll go over the video again and you can probably follow the the, the, the prompts i have five minutes okay all right so oh right here you go to share and then download right here you can download it uh in different ways i'm just gonna download the pngs you can probably download it as a zip right bulk one oh actually is that just download one of them no, it's not download all of them. Mm -hmm. It's going to show you the same thing. Okay. I see there's a zip right there. So, right? It's the same image. Yeah. But I think I think there might be a way of, of, of changing the image or making different colors or whatever. You mm -hmm. might be able to do that, right? But I, I was just showing you a simple way of just kind of bulk editing. You know, all ten. I would have thirty if I was patient enough to let Jack GBT do it. Right. All right. Cool. So we're done with the demo. Hopefully, you got something out of that. I know it's kind of wonky, but sometimes demos. That's what happens. You can catch him on Tuesdays via the link that he just shared. Yes. Right. And if you don't have that thing, he's gonna put it for you. Because I mean, I might, I might bug him on a Tuesday again. I'm almost, I'm almost finished. Really close. Okay, okay. Really, really close. That was like, that was like the, uh, the, what do you call it? The, uh, climax, right? <laughs> All right. I meant the innocent. <laughs> I, I have, I have preschool children who watches like, who watches like, uh, you know, Lion King and stuff like that, you know? So, um, <laughs> yeah. okay. Yeah. Presentation almost finished. I'm gonna skip through a lot of stuff here. That's me showing you what I was doing. Any questions? I think. Oh, it says basically build your robot army now. And this is me selling myself. Hey, you should join forces with me. I'm a loan officer. I'm a social media coach. My wife, out of seven people who took applications, she took 155 out of them. So she was basically 50 percent versus the other seven that she competed against. And she's never done mortgages or whatever. We just know how to talk to people, right? Um, 50 K she's a loan officer as uh, me, but she's my, my loan partner. So she does the processing side. She's way smarter than me. I'm like the kiss babies guy. She's the one who gets the loans closed like 10 days early. Right. Um, so, you know, this is just me bragging on myself, whatever. So I'm going to skip through this. There's my wife right there. If you want to see what she looks like, she's there. Thank you. And then summer is my loan officer assistant. She touches every single file and Tina, who's a processor, my wife trained her. The funny thing is her last name is Lee because she's actually related to me. My wife took my name Lee, but it looks like we're a family business, but we're not. We just happen to hire smart people, right? What's happening next? I don't know. What do you want to learn? Uh, questions. What is your biggest takeaway? My gift for you. Uh, I can give you all this crap. Free classes. I copy for $1 leads, 25 scripts. Just text whatever, which you guys should already have done. Uh, I'm almost finished. Uh, that's the QR code from uh, earlier. Uh, I'll, I'll give you the cue code. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, I give you list reports. I have a CRM. I can help you follow up. Uh, I give free social media training. Uh, that's my content information. Let's work together. Da, 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 da. These are all the things I want to do with you. Okay. Switch to loan officer demo mode now. Let me do this and we'll be finished. Okay. All right. Loan officer demo mode. Okay. So chat GBT. This to me is probably the, the best part of chat GBT for, uh, l l let's say people who are not loan officers. I'm not saying real estate agents, I'm not saying regular people, I'm just saying in general, if you're not a loan officer, this is probably one of the best parts about chat, chat GBT, right? 
So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I was working on uh, on the drive here. Right? I want to test it, right? So what I did was I did this through the voice because it was on my phone, but I'm going to go and type it. Uh, can a person making 100K a year afford a 500K house with 7% interest rates if they have three thousand dollars in monthly debt oh wow to determine if a person making a hundred thousand a year they can afford five hundred thousand have that hundred thousand eight thirty three uh, a month let's assess the monthly debt uh, looks like you have about 5,333. Now let's consider mortgage payment for 500,000. Seven interest rate. This is the formula they use. Um, they believe that based on that, you have a mortgage payment of 3,322 at 7% interest rate. It appears the person could afford the mortgage payment even with the given interest rate. However, it's important to note that this calculation does not account for the factors, blah, blah, blah. What if the person only made does it grow off the 65. question of the data? Yes. Okay. If the person annual income is 65 instead of 100,000, so it's taking the conversation, it's adding to the conversation and calculating it. Um, comparing available funds, housing, expense, da 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 da. Person may not be able to afford the monthly payment given their income and debt level. The mortgage payment exceeds the available funds for a significant margin. I'm basically teaching you how to replace me. <laughs> thank you very much thank you larry yes it was fun thank you very much remember ask ask chat gpt your mortgage questions there's a strong chance that they'll give you ask chat gpt your mortgage question there's a strong chance they'll get it right but you can always ask me to double check it for you like i did the math i did i checked the math it's pretty close yeah so there's a software out there oh i need, I need to turn this off all right later guys Thank you.